Those who had all will have nothing. Those who idled shall do. need. But sometimes I feel all I have to offer them is blood and fire. The things they've done to me, I can't forget them. I was Columbia's victim, and victimhood begets shame. Oh, what element of human experience is more corrosive than shame? I'm rotted from the inside out. For this revolution except my own dark motivations when all is said and done what's more important to me the people i want to save are those i want to murder in their beds smell it in the air. Fear, hatred, people dying every day. But how many more will suffer if we rise up? Violence begets violence, I know this. I've seen this. The rational mind argues for a peaceful solution to find a common ground, but what common ground is there to find for a father who watches his child bleed out in the street? How do you deny him his vengeance? fire that burns deep inside. I know it all too well. And when the time comes, will I be able to stay to hand?
Sort of. It looks like the mechanism unlocks certain activities when Fink gives his blessing. So what? We're stuck waiting for the cuckoo to go off? No, there's a... There's a slot for some kind of key for manual winding. We just gotta find that. Sure seems like a lot of work to lock down a few doors. You know, if there's one thing Fink loves, it's a lot of work. Our current state of being, or lack thereof, has left my brother unfulfilled. The biological urge to leave one's mark is strong. And it is not an impossibility. We could instantiate ourselves back in Columbia. Return to an old life for the possibility of creating new. But we died in that world. Returning would mean giving up part of us. Ourselves. We'd become flesh and all that it is heir to. The mysteries of the universe would become once again mysteries. We've got the clock key. Sea slugs. Could that Oriental have come up with a more inconvenient fuel for his plasmids? If there is a god, and I've seen more evidence to the contrary than in support, you'd think he'd have put Adam into the belly of a nice little seagull or crow. 
The cost of all these underwater expeditions are murdering my margins! As to the matter of religion, let me place myself in the camp of the agnostic. I pretend to understand the mysteries of the infinite no more than you, Comstock, or anyone else for that matter. But for the sake of argument, let's say this is all one unhappy accident, and we all alone in our toils. Then who would Comstock use to control and shame us with rules that apply only to those with not a penny in their pocket? If there were no God, you could rest assured the first deed done by the first rich man would be inventing him. Good. How to get that idiot his lock of hair. Humor me then? Please. I think Booker would miss you.
Jesus, it's ripe in here. Say, somebody, uh, fetch me a millionaire to clean this mess up. Comstock promises there's nothing to be worried about. But I don't like the smell of things down in Finkton. Not one bit. If trouble rears its ugly head in the form of one cantankerous negress, I've laid in some supplies in the event of a forced evacuation. They're down in what I call my chamber of panic, near the base of my statue. I've set the code to 8371. Turn me in to turn me into what? A killer. Yeah, well, mission accomplished. I'm no martyr. How did you do it, Booker? How did you Elizabeth? I'm not Booker. And neither am I.
prefer death! sample in a haystack. Now, I know there's been some concern about the nature of the work we do here at Fink Manufacturing. Why, some say they're uncomfortable with the purported harm and suffering our research brings. But friends, let me pose a simple question. Is there anything you would not do to guarantee the health and safety of your loved ones? My interest is the future health of your children. An ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure.
down. Uh, I'll kill you myself. Who's out there? Dad. Better stay away from you. Who did this? Long live Daisy! Uh. Kill her! This time. What's she doing here?
It's getting so the foxes are afraid of the hens. If Fink was going to hire a bunch of goons to keep an eye on the handymen, he should have found someone less yellow in the belly. Now they're hiding away from Tin Man invalids in their precious little guard room. If you need to get in there on your shift, the code is 2847.
like Fink and Su Chong were sharing their research. Like the Lutessas. Cross reality collaboration. It all makes a kind of sense. The little sisters and the big daddies. Songbird and me. Constants and variables. 